Hey guys, it's Ade Bida. Um, I'm driving home, driving back home. I guess this is probably the best idea to uh, drive while I'm recording a video, but um, pretty safe. Don't worry about it. I'm talking a little bit about my internet situation. So I usually upload at five megabits per second. Um, a pretty significant upgrade from what I had before, which is probably like one megabit per second. But anyways, so the situation yesterday at around two or three p.m. my time, um, it be up upload speed was really slow. I'm talking about. 0 0.2, 0 0.5 megabits per second. And it usually takes me for, let's say, a 16 megabyte video, a 30 second video, it takes me maybe 15 to 30 seconds to upload. Um, but with these slow speeds, for some reason, it's taking, it, 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 it takes 15 to 20 minutes per video. So today, everything was going, was going well until um, Judeo. And by the way, we're on Kamuali Highway on Kauai. And yeah, there's really no lights on the side of the road. But anyway, so everything was going fine. I, I tested the um, upload speed in the morning. Um, I, I was Initially, I was supposed to bring the, um, the cable box um, in, in, into the office so that the cable company could switch it off. But um, I, tested, I tested it. And it was working perfectly. Five megabits when I woke up. I was testing it throughout the day until Jonokuchi. And it was perfect. Um, I didn't have any problems throughout the whole day. Up until mid judio right after I was I I was I up I tried to upload Tochinoshin's matchup and all of a sudden it said um, on YouTube 16 minutes to upload. I'm like, oh my gosh. So yeah, it, it was actually perfect. It, it, it was actually perfect timing that it um, the 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 upload speed and the internet um, didn't work at that time because uh, I had enough time to drive to my cousin's house, which is about ten miles away from where I live, and luckily um, his internet is fast enough so I can upload between matches and. Um, and yeah, so that's this is my vid. So a little bit of tour of Kauai. Um, there's a tunnel of trees on the left. Too bad it's not um, daytime, but I, I wanted to show you guys that I am driving back home. Um, yeah, at least you get to see some sights of Kauai. A little bit of a, a vlog here. I, I get to post on my YouTube channel um, where I used to post recaps. But unfortunately, I, I, I stopped doing that because uh, kind of time consuming. Takes a lot of, it takes up a lot of my time and Kintamayama's um, highlights are already online. And uh, you should watch those. Those are fantastic. Um, but yeah, let's see what else we can talk about. We can talk about today's matchups. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, I guess. We can talk about them. So, obviously, um, Akko is having a good tournament as always. Osuna Rashi has two Kinboshi, um, defeating Aruma Fuji and Kakuri earlier. Um, having a little bit harder time against the other wrestlers. Um, a lot of uh, one one person. I'll give a shout out to him. Masu Masu Masu, Triple Masu on sumoforum.net. Uh, very controversial figure there. Um, he likes to get into a lot of arguments with everyone. I, you know, he's, he's a cool guy. Everyone's a cool guy. All fans in Sumo are cool to me. But um, he, he, I thought it was really interesting. He said that um, it wasn't that Osuna Rashi beat the Yokozuna. It was a Yokozuna um, worthy feat. Um, it was Yokozuna's fault. For um, losing to Osuna Rashi, I thought that was uh, interesting. It's kind of a you know, um, kind of a true assessment. They weren't as careful as um, Hakuho was. Obviously, Hakuho wanted to take his time. He, he did not want to give a victory to um, the rising Egyptian Osuna Rashi. But you know, regardless, two Kinboshi, one tournament. Osuna Rashi, booty, my friend. Good job, pal. Especially um, Ramadan when you are fasting. 
and um, no water. Hopefully this video goes, um, I have enough room on my phone to um, show you almost to where I live, but I'm obviously not going to show you guys the location of my house um, in case that there are stalkers. Um, so <laughs> I'll be in the vicinity though. I'll be in the vicinity. What else? Uh, who else? Um, Tochi Noshin having a good tournament in Judeo. Um, him and Ichi Nojo, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if they're tied or not. I want to say Tochi Noshin. Um, I want to say they're both tied at number one, three, at, at, at the number one position. Um, let me know if there are co leaders in Judeo. In Sandanme, um, a wrestler, Abiko, undefeated so far. He won um, Jonokuchi Jonedan Yusho, and in Sandanme, we'll see. And he had a match on day nine, undefeated. He's still undefeated in, in sumo. Um, right now, we are in, we just passed um, Omao. It's called Omao. We're about to reach um, a town called Lawai. So soothing with this drive. Um, yeah. Today in Hawaii, we're under flash flood watch until 6, 6 in the morning. Right now, it's 11.51 p.m. How are you guys doing? Um, what do you think about the tournament? As always, I want to say thank you to Mark Bernstein, Pukulu, who's been providing commentary on... All the Judeo Makuchi, uh, some Makushta, a lot of the Makushta bouts, excuse me. Some, I'm not sure if he has commented in Sandanme. And thank you to um, the viewers who are watching Lower Division Sumo. Um, most of my coverage, the majority of my coverage, is um, Lower Division Sumo. And you'd be surprised how much views it accumulates. Um, so in my Makuchi, I get about ten to twelve thousand views um, a day for Makuchi, and from lower division, from Junokuchi or Maizumo, all the way to Judio, it's about ten to fifteen thousand views a day. So pretty good, you know. I mean, it's one hundred and fifty videos compared to twenty videos which is, you know, people want to watch the top guys um, when it comes to Lower Division. Lower, Lower Division, you know, watching Lower Division is um, a particularly new thing for the vast amount of sumo fans. The new, the new amount of sumo fans, I mean, if you're a hardcore veteran, um, you, you follow Lower Division sumo, and um, it's interesting to follow a sumo wrestler's career when he starts. Um, a good example of that is Osuna Dashi. I had um, his first bout, first bout on my channel that is deleted now by NSK. Um, I had all his bouts up until some in Makauchi before it got deleted and you could see the progress and it was fantastic to watch um, to have that kind of archive and I, I, I do have um, I do have a good amount of videos from January 2014 on of my my current archive. I think there's about two or three thousand videos in lower division and about 800 videos in Makuuchi. So it's rebuilding, you know. Um, I am backing them up. And so, if anything happens again, uh, at least I'll be able to re-upload. Um, I, I, I bought a hard drive for that, so. Okay, well, so we're approaching my uh, my house, almost. We're in, um, approaching Kala Hill, that's where I live. Um, anyone who's uh, out there who wants to stalk me. Um, I'm a heterosexual, so. Um, if you're between the ages of 18 and I'm just joking but I am a heterosexual so um, if you are gonna stalk me um, at least be an attractive female who 
love sumo as much as I do. Okay? Um, okay, look. Let's see. Kaleo. Um, this drive, you know, it's, it is 10 minutes, but it's not particularly a um, hard drive. It's really pleasant and it's fast. So it, it takes me like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe from where my cousin lives in Lihue to over here, Kalaheo. And yeah, this is where I live. This uh, We're on Kauai at night. Um, so guys, we're about to approach my house and I'm not gonna show, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, follow me on Twitter and Facebook and remember to, to donate. Aloha and have, enjoy the rest of the basho.